We're back here at our friends Mega Kia Brosard in Brosard, Quebec to look at a very, very important car. Because I only found out about a couple days ago that the 2019 Kia Stinger GT line was available at the dealerships. This car is so new for us here in Canada that the Kia website doesn't have it, Kia's press website doesn't have it, and I'm sure Kia's press people are not going to be too happy that I'm doing a video on this already because they probably want to roll this out and do a nice big launch. But too bad, we're here already, the car's ready, and it can be sold today. So if you do want to buy the $39,000 version of the Kia Stinger, come down to make a Kia Brosart. Now this is a snapshot. We're not going to be showing you all the features and everything about it. We are going to be showing you the differences with the GT line over something like the GT Limited that we filmed before. So if you're curious to know everything there is to know about the Kia Stinger, you can click the link at the top right corner of your screen right now, or you can wait and you can see what the differences are with this car. We're going to be taking it on a road test to see if the 255 horsepower 2 liter turbocharged engine is just as fun as the 3.3 liter twin turbo in the GT Limited. Now this is a car I've been pretty excited about to drive for a little while now. I wasn't disappointed necessarily when the 2 liter wasn't available here in Canada, but because it was in the States, a lot of people have been searching for it, and I think it really does open up a new market of people who want to buy a car that just looks phenomenal. Now at $39,000, it really does make its way into the consumer midsize sedan segment. So it competes with things like the Kia Optima, which is in first place for the top five vehicles that we featured this year on Test Drive, followed by the Honda Accord, Mazda 6, Toyota Camry, and then Volkswagen Passat. So this really is more in line with that because of the price. Now the interior is a little different from the GT Limited that we featured before. Navigation screen is smaller and there is no navigation with it. The instrument cluster screen is a little bit smaller and doesn't quite provide as much detail. You also don't have ventilated seats or all the safety tech like lane keep assist or active cruise control. But some of those things don't really matter. I mean, a lot of people don't really need that stuff anyway. And really, I mean, ventilated seats are nice to have on a hot day, but they're not really critical. You do have heated seats and a heated steering wheel. So it's not that bad, especially in our colder climate here, it really does work out well. The seats are just as comfortable as the regular GT model here offered in Canada. So they're not the sport seats, but they are very comfortable. You do sink into them a little bit. And I have to say that visibility, comfort, and overall space is good. You do lose out on the sunroof, which again could be a deal breaker for some, but for the most part, it really is the stinger that we came to know and love over the week that we had it. It has wireless charging as standard now on this. It doesn't have all the carbon little trim and things like that. It's really just piano black everywhere, but the leather is still nice everywhere. You have leather along the door cards and really you know, a little bit of leather here on the dashboard. It really is a nice interior. It's not premium, but it is nice. But then that begs the question, for $39,000, there's no doubt that this is the best looking consumer mid-size sedan in the segment. But does it perform as well? We've been asked, would you rather buy the base model Kia Stinger, which this is, there's no doubt about it, or would you rather buy something like the fully loaded Kia Optima SXL Turbo? Now, it's a hard question because the 2019s have started rolling out. They do have a 2019 Kia Optima at Mega Kia here, but it's not the SXL Turbo, it's the SX Turbo. So it's the sportier version. Probably will cost a little bit less, but pricing really hasn't been announced officially from Kia yet, so it is hard to talk about that. But when it comes to this vehicle, is this better or the same as buying something like a fully loaded Kia Optima? And also, is it going to be worthwhile buying a $10,000 more affordable Kia Stinger that doesn't have that 3.3 liter twin turbo engine? I think the problem that people will always have if you're an enthusiast and you take it to a car show is people are going to judge you. They're going to say, oh, you didn't get the best version of it. Oh, you got the two liter version of it. Like they're taking pity on you for some reason. But at the end of the day, this car is still the best looking sedan in the segment, especially in this ghost gray color. I think it's probably the best color you can buy here in Canada. You don't get the yellow. I kind of like the yellow, but I think that this is such a nice color. It's subtle. It doesn't really blend in. You really don't see cars with this color. So I got to say it really stands out. And the main difference with the base model here in Canada and the one in the States is it has LED headlights. So at least the front end looks pretty darn good, especially since it has all the rest of the trim that comes with the regular GT Limited. It's one of the differences with the States. But is the performance going to be a deal breaker for some? Personally, I think that if you're looking at a vehicle and you want the absolute best in terms of luxuries, you want to still go with something like the Kia Optima. 
But if you want something that really stands out and really looks good, then there's no doubt. Get this over the fully loaded Optima. It's still a Kia Stinger. I mean, who cares, man? Look at our channel. We have so many people complain about the different cars that we feature, whether it's because there's a teeny tiny little bit of dirt or because they've, somebody's put a modification on a car that they don't like. People will always hate no matter what you do with your life. So my suggestion to you is just go out there and live your life and love what you do and love your car. Who cares what other people say? So that's why this car is something that you should be looking at, especially if you care what the haters think. Who cares? There's nothing wrong with this. But now let's see, we're gonna go take it on a little drive here and see is the performance just as good as we've come to expect from a vehicle such as the Stinger or does something like the Kia Optima perform a little bit better? And it's hard to really tell because you know, obviously we're driving on a road here. It's a regular public road, so we're not gonna be ripping it, but we are in sport mode for everything. And if we give it a good rip here, You get up to speed, it actually has a pretty decent sound for a four banger, but it's certainly not as quick. I mean, you're losing 110 horsepower over the Kia Stinger GT Limited, so of course it's gonna feel slower. It's not as fast and it's not meant to be. But still, I mean, if you're looking at a regular consumer segment mid-size sedan, something like the Honda Accord, something like the Kia Optima, I think you should take this because there's no doubt that this is the best looking car. And especially here in Canada, where it really looks identical to the GT Limited, nobody's gonna know the difference unless you tell them, unless you race them. But that's the whole point of this car. It's not meant to be a fast car. It's not meant to be a performance car. I know we've done that on test drive, but this car is meant to drive insanely well. And it still has that same transmission, same suspension that's on the GT Limited. The only difference is you don't have the brakes, you don't have the engine. And who cares? You still drive a Stinger. There's nothing wrong with that. I think that this is a great car. I think it's going to really open up a lot more buyers to be able to get into this vehicle. Because honestly, if you're looking at a $39,000 car, why aren't you looking at the Kia Stinger? As always, I'd like to give a big thanks to Mega Kia Bro Start for letting us come down and film their Kia Stinger GT line. Because again, this car is so new that they really want to get it sold. So this is a great opportunity for us to be able to feature it here and to be able to show you something new before everybody else has the opportunity to see it. If you have any questions about the 2019 Kia Stinger GT line or anything else about it, you can let us know in the comments below or send me an email, nile at perpetualradio.ca. We publish new videos here every single Monday at 7 a.m. Eastern Time on the Perpetual Radio Network's channel, so make sure you're subscribed, hit the notification button, and be an active member of our community by commenting, liking, and sharing this video on social media sites. Until next time, take care.